Hey there, Jay Marino here. Welcome back. We're playing Five Nations. Still on Chapter 1. On to Mission 8, but we also have a cinematic to watch. Recapturing the Solar System. Let's go. Because of Vander Colburn's heroic act, the armed forces did not collapse. In the aftermath of the alien assault, the Federation government took safety measures by increasing its control over the economy. Factories on the Earth, Mars, and other colonies affected a great turnaround. Millions of volunteers, thousands of new fighter spacecraft, and hundreds of new late-tech warships formed the new Federation Navy. Over the following month, Sky Marshal Komarov would launch the greatest campaign of humanity, recapturing the solar system. Which is interesting, it wasn't really made clear that the Cylons had actually captured the majority of the solar system. Admiral, Sky Marshal Komarov requests all admirals to join the conference. The briefing is now beginning. This is Sky Marshal Viktor Komarov. As you know, we haven't experienced heavy Cylon activity lately. But a week ago, the Cylons have united their forces into one super fleet, which is heading toward the Earth. We can be sure that our enemy isn't coming to negotiate with us. They will not rest until they destroy our homes, families, and friends. Even now, like in many times in the past, we ask Jupiter to protect Earth, but this time we will help him. Let me introduce the battle tactics of Operation Gargamela. I've divided our fleet into four. On the left flank, Admiral Karl Morse will be stationed with the Martian fleet. Admiral Benjamin Colburn's fleet will be on the left center. The right side will be under my direct command. I will fight with the UN fleet as well as the forces of Luna. Admiral Zhao Peng will have to defend the right flank. Because of the Cylon's numerical superiority, the strategy we must use will be unusual. The slower battleships will battle the Cylon drones in the center. I will begin to mobilize all the way to the edge of the right flank, accompanied with the fastest vessels. I will lure in as many Cylons as I can to create a gap within the enemy line where a decisive blow by our heavy battleships could then divide their forces. I have shared all the necessary information about the strategy with you. Good speed, Admirals. Komarov out. So, wh what are we doing? All I heard was that my guys were in the left center. But I'm not sure. Maybe he'll guide us in what we're supposed to be doing when we start. It's I, I'm not I'm not sure. Big old group of stuff. I have the two, sir. Is there a problem? Go ahead and service? and set these up. I don't know, Cole. You know me. I'm not scared of a gamble. But this tactic requires almost perfect timing and maneuvering. What'll happen if the Cylons see right through it? Greg, we have to trust in Kamarov. He's an old fox who knows what he's doing. Looking good. So we've got some trinities. Bastor of class reporting for duty. Radiation stable. Tellers. Tellers are cruisers designed to carry large conventional explosive missiles. What did that say? Just a big AOE nuke. These all charged. look like casters, so I'll put them in their own group. Look to these new Avenger class battleships. These capital ships can give us artillery support against the Cylons heavy cruisers. Avenger class okay, I like the sound of that. Get hot keyed. You gotta ask. What's going on down here? We got plenty of outlying Should stuff. Work. I guess let's move out because we want to defend this stuff. As they spawn, we don't really have the ability to increase our economy in any way. We have a shipyard where we can make more hurricanes, and we Tell only have metal. Enough power to send a nuclear surprise. Admiral, I received a report from intelligence. The Cylons have arrived. Okay. Right. Let's get ready to receive the enemy. They pinged us down here, so let's just try and blast as many as we can. I would love to try this nuke. No, 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 Okay, we lost them. There goes the nuke. Seems fine. We got it. We got to keep these, um... But we already lost the past door. That's terrible. We also have the Josie on. You know what we can do is cloak... What's up? We can use the Josie on to cloak our... Missile dudes. 
A new wave of drone ships looks is like. coming to our position. Sky Marshal Komarov has begun luring the enemy in. So check this out. Conceal you? Certainly. And then? Nuke him? You guys all stay back? Come on, buddy. There it goes. Bombs away. Oh, it worked. Okay, now we get in here. Losing that Pasteur early, though, is just terrible. I don't know what, what to do about that. In fact, did we lose the other one, too? Because not being able to repair our stuff in between is very bad. I mean, we have some metal. Can we, I guess we could drop mines. I guess. That's the only thing I could think to do that would be helpful here with the money that we're getting. That stuff can can defend itself. Let's maybe fall back to this group of barricade satellites. Reactor ready. Research ship Channels this is it's very, like, there's really, there's no room for error. Admiral, I've detected a new wave of drone ships. Prepare for the reception. Should work. Sort of maybe move down in this direction. I'm, I'm waiting to see how these Avengers are as well. I haven't really seen them. Up. Work. Do too much. Well, let's watch now. Okay, I see. That's that looks pretty good. Kind of hang back. Let's go ahead and disable this ship. Now our fighters are getting into the fray. Just go ahead and build some more fighters. And the Trinity is already dead. This seems very difficult. I guess let's restart and see. I, I just got to restart completely because not being able to heal between waves is rough. Maybe this is where I think I struggle with the idea of there not being like a normal difficulty. It's only story mode and hard mode. I don't know, Cole. And I get the impression, yeah, we're supposed to know exactly where they're coming from each attack. And maneuvering. What will happen if the Cylons see right through it? Greg, we have to trust him, Kamarov. He's an old fox who knows what he's doing. Okay, we know they come from down here first. Skip. I, I like the the cloak the cloak nuke. That seems like a great a great way to, to do this. And then we need to keep our pastors alive. And then we're gonna yeah, we got these dudes. These new adventure class battleships. These capital ships give us artillery support against the Cylons heavy cruisers. Sure, fine. Okay. Always. Let's get the the St. George in the front where it can tank a little bit for us. We know that they're going to spawn here first, so let's get them into position. And then these dudes, I'm going to leave over here so that we can have them in position. Perfect. Okay, and then Trinity, let's see if we can land a flechette strike. On this big wave of early drones. No, no, never mind, don't. <laughs> Launch one there. Then back out. Okay, this went a lot better. Obviously, I don't want to lose my orcas. Lost one. But those are going to be very difficult to keep alive. Now we want to stroll over in this direction. Maybe we can save between each wave. You got to do what you got to do. How long does concealment last? 20 seconds? Admiral, a new wave of drone ships is coming to our position. Sky Marshal Komarov has begun luring the enemy in. Quick, quick, quick. He hit himself, but that was totally worth it. Now back out. Pasteur is still alive. Incredibly important. Losing that one nuke, er, that one guy who can nuke is a problem. But honestly, I, we could just always completely restart if necessary. Let's head back over here where we know they're coming next. I've detected a new wave of drone ships. Prepare for the reception. 
Channel clear, sir. What's up? Again, just the pesters being alive makes a massive difference now. That's mostly fighters. I'm not concerned about that. The barricade sats can deal with that. We have to get in here and destroy their capital ships. Okay, we got that flechette strike out before all of our fighters engaged. And we were just completely overwhelmed by fighters. And we lost the Ulysses. Man, that's difficult. There's, that's a lot of enemies. I guess we have to... Do you have to land a nuke every wave? Because that seems like a lot. <laughs> Alright, get over there. Admiral, I've detected a new wave of drone ships. Prepare for the reception. Reset ship reporting. Let's see. Did I lose my other nuke ship as well? Or is What's it in up? there? All that I can think to do is try to just land a flechette strike when they launch the fighters. Before they, well, they're already swarming us. Gotta back up, gotta back up. Pasteurs, you need to stay alive. Absolutely crucial. My heroes are alive. Let's see if we can land a flechette strike here. Not bad. You got a bad bad. No, 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 no. I'm trying to kill their fighters. They're killing my fighters as well. Did they kill my St. George that, that had my fighters docked? Because it looks like it. So that those are their own St. George equivalents right here. And they're flipping cloaked. So, if you kill this, does, do all the drones attached to it die? Is that how this works? No. So that's not really a valid strategy. Okay, let's get up here. Like old times. And we've lost... Well, we didn't lose. We, did, we haven't lost our past sewers, so let's save again. I can't nuke anything anymore, but just build hurricanes. It's the only thing we can do. Ready to start the show. You know In theory, they're coming from the right again, though. I can't be sure. We might just have to rely on these these barricade stats more. I would love some reinforcements, maybe. Fighter reporting. Communication open. Pilot reporting. Of course, Commander. Admiral, there is an emergency. The Cylons have overrun Admiral Carl Morser's flank. The Martian fleet has collapsed. Oh my gosh. And we just became the flank. Admiral, the Cylons are going to attack us on two sides. Okay, well, it is what it is. Get a flechette strike in there, quick. Then back out of there. The biggest key here is not losing our heroes. What's up? No, 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 run! Oh! Pasteurs! Keep them alive, keep them alive. Trinities and Avengers. Do your job. What are you? Railgun? Large caliber capable of firing high explosive shells? Wait, can we use this to attack things like really far away? No. I thought that might be a thing we could do, but not quite. Just keep making fighters? Because what else can we do? This is like a power group of, of, of units, for sure. And the pastors are alive. That's probably the biggest key. I think we have to just lean heavily into these Avengers, which are very good. Keeping these things alive on the outskirts does give us a little bit of a... a just a little bit of breathing room. Avenger class ready for action. Pilot reporting. Okay, cool. 
We're gonna collapse. We can't last much longer. We must stand firm, Greg. If we fail, the whole fleet is gonna collapse. Commander Colburn, would it be a bother if we were to join you? My friends and I are just about to arrive near Jupiter. Some more, you son of a bitch. You're about the last person I expected to show up. Yo, reinforcements! Oh my gosh, the pirate fleet! Oh my goodness. This is incredibly necessary at this point. Good work, Zamor. Get in here. So, you... You guys dock. Do we have two new capital ships as well? That's massive. Get added to my power group. This is the power group. The Icarus can handle, it can take a lot of heat, but you know, it's not quite enough. I think we just sort of hang out back here. We've got these defense platforms. Admiral, I've detected new multiple waves of drone ships. Prepare for the reception. Let's move out and meet them and let's save. That was, I mean, the fact that like at this point, there's no way that the player is not struggling a lot, so More getting reporting. new capital ships and a bunch ask. of reinforcements is of absolutely critical. Gunships are going to be great here, I think. As long as we can keep them alive, they're going to get rid of these fighters really fast. Avenger class taking the beating, back up. You just go ahead and give me a flechette strike. And then back out. Captured Avengers, or captured Icaruses, rather, able to really lay on the heat. Back up, you're getting targeted down. Heroes are fine. It seems like, like capital ships are the only thing you can rely on here. Everything else is not helpful. <laughs> kind of a cool twist that the pirates are the ones that actually come and help you. Okay, get up there. I'm gonna keep making fighters. Defend your lines. Well, we're sort of failing on that front right now, but we're trying. Okay, get up there. Don't let them destroy that. Come on. There we go. Take this dude out. Trying to load the fighters into the St. George that we got. Dude, these pastors staying alive, I think, is honestly the most crucial thing that could have happened. We could buy time by just letting this thing keep attacking. Fighter reporting. What's up? So that we can heal up. It's again having I mean having the four capital ships plus well St. George we have five capital ships plus our heroes. Well, I guess one of the capital ships is our hero as well. I think we want to defend near this defense platform, whatever this is. However this works. What's up? Communication opening perimeter. I imagine we're pretty close to the end, maybe one more wave. So we have to just be very cognizant of our heroes, because that's where things can go seriously wrong. So let's back up and just fight underneath our, uh... Admiral, it seems that the Skywatcher's plan has succeeded. The Cylon Center is going to collapse. Unfortunately, their supporting drones are heading to our lines. Uh-oh. Prepare for a massive wave of enemies. Uh-oh. Area reporting. What are your conditions? Bear panels charged. Well, these guys are pretty much out of energy. Let's just say we just have to get through this last attack. Need a smuggler? We gotta ask. We gotta keep these heroes alive. You just sit back here on hold position, please. What's up? You know it, man. We wait for them to come to us. We hit them with the flechette strike, and then we run away like cowards, because that's how it's got to be. Move these Icarus in position such that they can actually defend us. I, I just saved, so if they destroy, if them destroying that actually counts as us losing, then I'll just restart it, and it's fine. Big flechette strike. 
know what, heroes just back up and sort of take care of the weaker stuff back here. Again, I'm curious to see if them destroying this actually ends the mission. It doesn't seem like it. Our heroes are all okay. I need, I need my capital ships attacking their capital ships. I think destroying their cap. I think destroying their um, their carriers is important. Oh my gosh! What just what just blasted all that damage through? Jeez, oh man! Let's disable here. Back them up. It removes the shield that those fighters get. I think we're gonna just maybe barely be able to finish this. What's up? Just barely. Like old times. That's a tough one. It's hard to know again what the expectations are to win something like this. Whew. Ready to start the show. Captured Icarus has made it through. Good to go. Sky Marshal to the combined forces. The Cylon Superfleet just fell apart. Most of their drone vessels are fleeing. Congratulations. We did it. Very nice. That was definitely the hardest mission so far, but it's very much, uh, I think, trial and error for sure. That was no joke. <laughs> but uh, it's pretty fun when you when you get it down. I think maybe also the key would be to keep your casters just not engaged. So like those big nuke ships, if you can get a nuke out, then just run it away. And then keep it kind of in your base. It'll get enough energy back and you can use it again near the end. But we did it. And we managed to use, I think, at least one of the nukes in one of the most important places. But yeah, that's uh, that's a tricky one, especially on this hard difficulty. Like I said, there's no normal, which is like, hey, I'm very familiar with RTS, but I don't know your game, and I don't know your maps and your weird map events where stuff just sort of happens and I have to react to it. Um, you know, I haven't learned all the enemies yet. There's five factions, and I don't even know what my full tech tree is, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, you know? But... Uh, I think hard difficulty has that expectation. There's not like an in-between where it's like, hey, I'm good at the game, good enough to like play it if necessary, but I can't necessarily overcome the 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 wacky stuff that might get thrown in there, like this mission specifically. <laughs> okay, thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.